Lisa Emery is the owner of the Swinging Doors. Today she joined a roundtable discussion with other restaurant leaders from all across Washington, and it was led by Senator Maria Cantwell. She talked about the number of hurdles she has had to jump over to keep her staff working and the doors of the Swinging Doors open to customers. Grim Tooth Janelle Finn sat down with her after the meeting this afternoon. Janelle? That's right. Lisa Emery told me she felt her business was just about to get its head above water, but the Omicron surge makes it feel like it's 2020 all over again. Today, Emery and other Washington restaurant leaders were able to speak directly to Senator Cantwell and share their struggles of the last two years in hopes of additional future COVID relief. Of the over 7,000 restaurants that applied for the 2021 Restaurant Revitalization Fund program, only 3,200 Washington restaurants secured relief funds before it ran out. One of those restaurants left without funding was Spokane's The Swinging Doors. The Swinging Doors has been a stable restaurant in the city since 1981. It's been a place for family gatherings and celebrating birthdays with a free complimentary steak. But COVID had to change the way The Swinging Doors and other restaurants serve the community. If you haven't been on this side of the restaurant industry, it, it doesn't look as bad, I guess. Um, you see drive throughs have cars in them and, and people are out and about, but um, the behind the scenes is a lot different story. The manager says you can see the difference when comparing the numbers pre-pandemic to now. We lost over a million dollars in 2020 versus 2019. According to the state, over 2,300 Washington restaurants permanently closed in the first year of the pandemic. Restaurant managers say hardships include keeping up with staff wages, maintaining COVID safety accommodations, and going months without profit. We're getting, getting to the end of our rope a little bit. In May 2021, the U.S. Small Business Administration provided $29 billion in COVID relief funds for struggling restaurants. Despite meeting the qualifications for the relief, the swinging doors was denied funding. The manager says when it comes to getting a potential second round of help, restaurants need it now. We're being told that it'll be, you know, April before things start to get better and um, not many restaurants can wait that long. Management at the Swinging Doors says if there is additional relief granted, they'll use the money to pay back some of the expenses they spent to keep the doors open. Some of those expenses included tents and gas tanks to accommodate outdoor seating and installation of an air purifying system that destroys bacteria and viruses. Senator Cantwell says she plans to take the story she heard today back to the Senate committee and secure funding for those restaurants in need within the next 60 days. In the newsroom, Janelle Finch, Creme 2 News.